Hey guys, time for more crafting cosplay stuff. I feel like I'm saying this in every single one of my videos lately, but this, this is basically what I'm trying to do. Uh, going through all the fabric and wigs and other crap that I own, because sometimes I just forget about things, um, and seeing what wigs don't belong to a certain character or maybe a character I don't really care to cosplay anymore. So what I'm trying to get at is, I had this wig that I first used for Amethyst, uh, then I dyed it and cut it for whatever reason and turned it into this makeup right here, which I still love. People said I should turn it into a Shinzo wig from My Hair Academia, but uh, that precious boy deserves a lace front. Another cosplay I could do with that, since it's like the perfect cut that I don't have to worry about not having enough hair, is a uh, Jiro. Granted, the wig is a little bit more on the purple side. It should be more of a dark, plummy purple, but you know what? It works. So I'm going to attempt to make her earphone jacks, um, and I really rather not just tape them to my ears. I don't expect this to be perfect, uh, but I'm also, I haven't tried this out yet, so I'm kind of experimenting. Hopefully this turns out okay, because You'll know if it turns out okay because you'll actually see this video. If I don't like that how it turns out, I won't even post this video. But the first thing you're going to need is headphone jacks. Before you go out and buy some headphones, I see no issue in asking your friends or your family or your partner and just, you know, hey, do you have any old headphones that you just do not care for or don't use at all? Because I know AirPods and knockoff AirPods are becoming quite a thing lately, so a lot of these headphone jacks is like a lot of people aren't using them. My brother, like I got all these for my brother for obvious reasons, but I'm still gonna point it out, this will not work at all. If you can get white, that is preferred, because obviously it's a light color, it's gonna be easier to color to match your skin tone. Um, but I wanna make sure they match as much as possible, so I'm just gonna stick with black. So now that I have these, I'm going to, you know, I have a mirror in front of me right here, and I'm just gonna hold it up to my ear and Kind of measure how or where I want them to lay. I'm gonna cut the earphone jacks to about my collarbone, maybe a little bit longer, just so you can, you know, still get the effect by it, of it, words. And I'm going to keep those other um, jacks just in case. Before we paint, um, I'm gonna add on the liquid latex. And so I have a little slab of tile right here. I'm gonna put the ends of these guys on there. This one doesn't want to stay still. And I'm just going to slowly layer up and make sure the edges are pretty thin. So this is just the end of a paintbrush. Um, we're gonna let that dry and I'm going to build up the top um, a little bit. I don't want there to be too much um, where you can see too much of the cable underneath all the liquid latex. I don't know words. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is built up enough. So when dealing with liquid latex, you always want to powder it because it will stick to itself very easily. Either you can use translucent powder or baby powder. I'm just gonna peel it up. And I have a few stragglers off. Now we can get on to painting. Um, obviously, if you're painting this, make sure you have something down on your table so you don't destroy it. But I've chosen to just go ahead and keep on destroying my table. So to get as close to my skin tone as possible, we're gonna be using these three colors. I'm gonna be adding some fabric medium uh, to keep the headphones uh, or the paint on the headphones very flexible. Um, I'm going to paint the white base layer off camera because it's just white base um, and then I'll film once I do the skin tone colors.
You could use Spirit Gum, Prozade, uh, Brain Farts, <laughs> Eyelash Glue. Um, I think I'm just gonna stick with my liquid latex. It was actually pretty easy to cut the wig, and I know I've seen quite a few places start selling Jiro's hair, so the haircut. Um, so you can easily just buy a wig that looks extremely similar to her haircut or the exact haircut, and with little um, stripes in her hair. I'm gonna put some on my ear blue. You probably do this before you put on the wig, but we're doing this now. Um, and I'm gonna put liquid latex on my ear and on the little prosthetic thing. Um, yeah, I just combed everything down, obviously. I then took hairspray and I have like the stronghold got to be glued that every cosplayer owns. And I basically just slightly sprayed it down, didn't want it to be rock solid, but enough. And so when I'm putting the wig on, the hair does not move around too much. And I just used my, you could use acrylic paint, I used my water activated face paints just and so it's going to be easier to wash out if I need to clean this wig or whatever. Or if I ever want to change up this hairstyle to a different character um, and just lightly paint it on. And a little prosthetic, it's a little bit lighter than my ear color. So my ears tend to be a little bit more on the red or pinky side, which is, you know, what it's, it's, it's whatever. Ta-da! Actually, it seems to be working okay. So, here's my finished Euro cosplay. So my regular clothing can kind of pass as her clothing. For example, here's one of my... So hopefully this helped you guys out if you wanted to cosplay Jiro. Um, and anyways, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you all next time.